Hello wonderful people, welcome to Maria Nice Designs. Today I'm doing a beautiful mermaid from Hero Arts and I'm also part of the Summer Love and Card Hop hosted by Mel Sam. So please go over to Instagram because it is a hop on Instagram. So that is where you will find below. Also in my description, I will have my Instagram account linked as well. So please hop along with us and enjoy all the beautiful cards from the creators. They're absolutely amazing. So here I'm showing you that I am making more of a transparent section where the tail begins at the base of her belly button area. I'm going in with the BG Quadruple Zero and I'm making it so it looks very translucent. And I'm doing the same for the sides, um, the fins on the sides as well. And then I will be filling it all in, the entire tail, with the BG Quadruple Zero so that um, it gives it a base coat of that color. So I was wondering what everyone is planning for the summer, if you're out and about in maybe camping or some places that, you know, are safe to go to, you know, some outdoor fun. Um, maybe there's, you know, a pool that you have or something interesting that you're doing, or are you staying at home like I am and doing a voiceover or making cards, which is fun as well. I love doing that. So here I'm coming in with the Y17 as a base color for her hair. I'm gonna make it like a golden color so it shimmers and shines. Um, you know, she's a really lovely mermaid. The artist did a fabulous job on her and it makes my coloring very easy. Um, she is uh, pretty small though. The, the, there's, you know, little tiny sections all around her hair. And I'm just basically coming in and shading where there would be, um, where it crosses underneath another piece of hair closer to her face. Um, and just, you know, all the various areas where there is cast shadow. Now, underwater, I don't know exactly how that works. I would have to probably get some scuba gear and go check out what it would look like. But I'm just going with, you know, my human nature and putting in all the cast shadows where I think they would possibly be. So I'm just uh, letting you know, too, that um, the Summer Loving Card Hop like I said, is on Instagram. We would appreciate you sharing um, your time with us and showing each of the creators some love. There's also a giveaway um, on Mel Sands on her Instagram. So that's something that she's going to do as well and possibly some other um, of the creators. She gave us the option if we were willing to do that. So that's what's happening over on Instagram, so please join us there. So here I'm going in with Polychromos uh, coloring pe colored pencil, and I'm going in and just deepening and refining the, shade, the shadows and the shading all along um, where I believe they would be on the mermaid. And I'm also, from time to time, you will see me go in with the edge there of the chisel tip of the, I believe it's E02. Um, because I will go back and forth adding, oh, here I'm just showing you the edge that I'm going to go in onto her hand because it's a very um, narrow space and that edge of the marker does go in those, those edges quite well. So as I was saying, I go in on the um, above the where her tail begins because I want to make it look as, I guess, even toned as possible because I just kind of let it dry and see how it looks and then I go back in and sort of lighten it a little bit more. Because I do add the BG uh, quadruple zero there, it will bleed up a little and I just wanted to see how that would look after it was dried and I was able to even the tone out. So I'm going back in with another polychromos pencil to add some more sh shadows and shading in her hair because like I said, it's very difficult to get into those small spaces. So you definitely need to have a very, very sharp point 
to go in and out of those little spaces so that all the areas that you want to cast shadow on, um, you know, that would have a shadow, obviously, would be, um, you'd be able to get into those sections. It sort of refines the, the coloring. Um, I love to do this when it's really tiny. Um, I tend to um, give it a little more dimension that way so that you can see the various individual strands a lot better. And it just looks just amazing to me when it's all done. I'm always amazed at, you know, the combination of the Copic markers or any alcohol marker you may have. Um, and also the pencils with a sharp tip. It's just amazing. So here I'm going in with uh, my RV colors. They are listed on the screen and I will have them, all of the supplies listed in the uh, supply list in the description as well. I'm going in and filling in her little flowers and giving you a nice close up. I, I try to give you close ups because it is a tiny, tiny drawing. Um, is is as amazing that the artist was able to do this. I don't know if they do it in a larger scale and then shrink it down is my guess because it's just very minuscule sections. Um, if you're interested in purchasing this item, I have no affiliations, but on heroarts.com, just put in a search engine of mermaids and she comes up and she is a wood block. Uh, she is not a, a photopolymer clear stamp. She is a wood block stamp. And she stamped out beautifully first try. I mean, just amazing. The red rubber stamps are very um, strong and detailed and they keep their shape where the photopolymer are a little more softer. So you can't push down as hard. So that's just a little tip that, you know, you can put plenty of ink on the photopolymer and stamp them a few times, but don't press real hard because it will squash out. So, you know, don't, don't push too hard. <laughs> um, so here I'm going in and I'm shading all of the seashell beneath her, which I'm guessing is her throne. You know, I'm, I'm sure she's awaiting some guests or maybe she's just wanting to talk on her shell phone. You know, hey, she she has a shell in her hand, so maybe that's her shell phone. Even even mermaids need to chat. You know, maybe she's trying to get on Zoom. I I don't know. But anyway, I am coloring in the seashell. I am giving it all types of shadows and trying to get it all evened out, giving a nice even tone. I'm going in with um. I believe it was COO, CO1, CO3, and CO5 are the grays that I'm using on the seashell. And I won't, I'm not going to show you every single solitary detail on it, but I do love that it turns out almost like a purpley tone. You'll see it on the completed card. It really, really looks gorgeous. I mean, I, I was amazed that it turned out that way because as you can see, it's all grays. I mean, I'm, I'm sure that there must be some sort of undertone in the gray color once it's uh, against the different colors that I'm going to be placing the, um, once it's cut out, I'm going to place it on some Brutus Monroe paper and it's just spectacular. It just looks so amazing to me all the colors blend so well together and I just love using my Copics. I just really, really enjoy coloring with them. So here we go. We're going back in and we're going to put in the BG quadruple zero all around again. And then I'm going to come in with the BG, I believe it's the BG 10, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it's a BG 10. I'm sorry. I already went in with the quadruple zero. So yes, I'm going in and now I'm going in with the BG-11 as well to fill in the, the sections in the center and up at the top. And I'm going to go in at the very edge on the fins on the sides. And I'm going to do like the very base of the tail and then I'm going to go around the sides as well of the tail. I don't want to fill it in completely. Um, I just want to give it some variation of color. 
So I'm doing the tail in some of the crevices where there would be some shadow, trying to keep the tail a little bit lighter and brighter. So that's a BG10 there. So I'm going in and I'm just going and casting some shadows here and there. Uh, I went in with the BG53. That's the darkest color that you see there. Um, it's a beautiful, almost like a peacock blue. Now I'm going in with the G43, YG03, and YG61 colors. And I'm giving it a beautiful green hue all throughout the tail. And just give it a kind of... Um, I guess a variegated look, you know, trying to get some of the scales with the greens up against all the aqua color and turquoise color to give it more of um, just dimension and, and a beautiful uh, variegated look and just give it more scales throughout it. And I'm going to go in as well uh, in a little while with some Jelly Roll glitter pens that really bling her tail up. I mean, it's, I was just in love with how it turned out. So I'm going back in with the BG, uh, I believe it was 10, and I am just evening, it, evening out the tail. If I could speak, that would be wonderful. Please forgive me. <laughs> Sometimes words don't come easily. So now I'm going in with the Sakura Jelly Roll glitter pens. And let me tell you, ladies and gents, these glitter pens, because they are a gel pen, the glitter stays suspended really well in the ink, in the gel ink, and the glitter is fabulous, fabulous. I absolutely love these pens, and the glitter pens are my favorite. They make more opaque colors, they make metallics, and they're all gorgeous, but my utmost favorite, utmost favorite are the glitter pens. So I have a green color, I have a peacock blue color. Um, they're not named, they do have a color with, um, I'm sorry, not a color, a code with a number. So that's how you would um, look for them. And I, again, it, everything will be in the supplies list below. So they will be listed as well for you. So I'm going in with, I believe this is the green glitter gel pen. I believe so. And I am going in and adding more scales because I thought, gee, that would look fabulous with some of the green and color against the aqua background to put the scales. And I am outlining this area very carefully because I want it to glisten. Look at that shine. Oh, I just, I'm just in love with these pens, in love. You show me glitter and, and glitz and I'm, I'm there. <laughs> I'm there. I'm first in line. <laughs> so I'm outlining her entire tail and I am going all the way around and I am going to fill in all the different little sections of the fins there as well. So look at that. Oh, glitter, glitter. Now I'm going in with a clear glitter pen and I'm kind of going between those areas there so it shimmers and shines because the clear will show her skin through there so it was like perfect for that and it gives it even more of a translucent feel and then i'm going throughout the tail and just adding some glitter all around in between all the different scales and it just it just makes her look as if she has actual scales on her tail and just it glistens and glows so here I'm coming in with the clear as well, just to give a little bit more shimmer and shine. And on the little wristband, um, I guess it's an armband, I put in the green and the silver glitter pen. I'm also adding silver glitter pen to the seashell. Look at that. Maybe, you know, I think that's probably the possibility of why it turned into a um, purpley tone. But again, you'll see it on the finished card. So here I'm cautioning you that it is a very hot surfaces you are working with. If you plan to do any of this type of work, I used shrink plastic that I have that I will also list in the supply list below. And I made a beautiful pendant with the mermaid. I had added a little piece above her head because I didn't want to put a hole through her head. 
<laughs> so I didn't show the second one I did, but it was basically the same thing. So there I applied some 3M foam tape and some three in one glue. And I'm placing her on this beautiful Sea Sparkle Brutus Monroe six by six paper that I got from his paper pad. This paper pad is phenomenal. The, the papers are gorgeous in this paper pad. So check it out at brucemonroe.com. Um, again, I have no affiliates. I'm just letting you know where I got the things. And I, you know, honestly, I just think that the papers in this pad are fabulous. And they can easily, as you can see, be used and just make a fabulous and gorgeous background. Can I say fabulous one more time? I say fabulous a lot. <laughs> so, those are the bubbles. I used Trinity uh, Stamps Gems. That's the finished card. I really enjoyed making this card for you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please remember to go to Instagram for the Summer Loving Card Hop and please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, share my videos, and hit the bell icon for future uploads. Blessings to all. Be well. Bye-bye.